Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into kind of disappointing news video. Today we're going to be talking about San Diego Comic-Con, and uh, today is the first official day of San Diego Comic-Con at home, and there's nothing from LEGO. If you go online, you can actually visit all of the different exhibition booths and things, and you can go to all the different places. I went to Lucasfilm and Marvel and Warner Brothers and DC and different things like that, and all of them just say, hey, for the, under the products page, they're like, hey, if you work for this company, you want to update what products you're offering, they all don't have anything. Go over to LEGO, they've got one product, and it's a Build Your Own Comic, which I think they've run at the past for other Comic-Cons and maybe a Star Wars celebration. But that's the only product appearing, and it's just kind of disappointing. I, I was really expecting things, and maybe you're thinking, well, why would you expect that? I, I mean, why, why are you thinking that LEGO would do something if it's cancelled? And... Funko and Hasbro and a bunch of other toy companies are literally still doing exclusives. They're acting like Comic-Con's still happening, which I think is the whole idea of the Comic-Con at home. It's supposed to give uh, the different people attending this feel like you're actually at Comic-Con, but you're just doing it from home this year. And I think that as a LEGO fan, we're not getting to experience that. We're not getting, you know, even a chance for a raffle or something for figures and, and different things like that. It's, it's really disappointing. And... <sighs> Even when it comes to set reveals, I, I don't get how we're not seeing something for 2021. I get why we're not, since we don't even know what's happening, like, for example, with Star Wars sets. The dates are no longer September. It's now saying coming soon. So those have been pushed from August to September. And, you know, now even further. So, I don't know. It's 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 pretty crazy. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on with, uh, with that. I, I can't believe, like, just digital pictures we're not even seeing for 2021 sets. But uh, there were some exclusive news and different things that I didn't talk about with uh, San Diego Comic-Con. There was a Toad set that was found in like a Target scanner or something from Super Mario. And it was rumored that that was going to be the San Diego Comic-Con set. And today there was also the leaked Duel on Bespin set between Luke and Vader. And it's just a bigger version of like the arm that sticks out from... Um, uh, Cloud City, where he tells, spoiler alert, Luke, that he is his father. It's really cool. It comes with the Luke, I'm assuming, from the Betrayal and Cloud City set, which I love, as well as the brand new updated Darth Vader. I will keep you up to date with how you can get that, where, and different things like that. I hope it's not a Target exclusive or something like that, because those are just such a pain. And uh, I, again, with just everything, I, I don't know what I'm going to do even with the Star Wars sets. Like I don't necessarily feel like going through the same thing that I did with all the Avengers things. So let me know your thoughts with Comic-Con. What were you expecting? I have two videos of my predictions of what they were going to reveal. And I just think it's it's just kind of disappointing, honestly. I, I think that we're not getting the real feel of Comic-Con being at home. And it's something I look forward to each year. And now that it's my job, I, I love, you know, getting to report on this stuff. I really enjoyed that last year. And now we don't really have that chance. So again, I, I really am curious what's going to happen. I mean, the way things are going anyways, everything that they're talking about, delaying movies, pushing them back more and more and more, and just the way that the things are going in the United States right now, Black Widow ain't happening and Wonder Woman isn't coming out in the fall, for sure. So if those sets and figures and different things were connected to that, I guess next year for 2021, I could definitely see that happening since they could just reuse them and... I mean, what 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 were they going to do for next year anyways? Like, that's all going to be pushed as well. So, it's all up in the air. I, I'm just sad that we're taking a break off of all this stuff. And it's going to be San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from 2019 and then 2021. So, it's just going to be strange, I think. But, anyways, everyone, what do you think of this? Uh, I hope that you did enjoy this video. And if you didn't know, you can attend panels and things like that online. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. I hope that you did enjoy this video, and I hope that you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.